numbers. We talked a bit about irrational numbers, rational numbers. I guess the most common irrational number that we actually work with are the thirds. So let's uh, talk a bit about thirds. So a third is an irrational number because we don't know the exact value to any third. Basically, it's defined any number that includes a radical symbol is a third. Uh, that means cube roots, they, they are still thirds, and fourth roots and fifth roots and so on, but we most commonly just use the, the square roots. That's the radical symbol, by the way, in case you were wondering. That's the actual name of the third symbol. Okay, oh, and cannot be calculated exactly, because square root of four is not a third, because you can calculate the square root of four, you can work out what it is. So that's the other key part. So the third laws, very important we obey them, or the third police come along and arrest you. The first one is the one that allows us to simplify thirds. The idea, of course, being we're trying to find a perfect square that is a factor of the number that we're working with. Uh, there is a similar one for division. I suppose another way of looking at these two rules is basically saying it does not matter which one you do first. You could do the division first, then find the square root, or you could find the square root of each individual part, then do the division. And the other one is basically the idea that uh, inverse operations cancel each other out. So squaring is the inverse operation to square rooting. So if you're doing both things to the number, you're just left with the number. So that's, that's A. And they're really the three main ones. So square root of 50, idea being we're looking for a perfect square that goes into 50. The biggest one would be good, which of course in this case is 25. It's another one of those steps we probably don't actually write it down. It's probably more in the head where we're going, ah yes, square root of 25, so that becomes 5 root 2. Aha, let's go back to the algebra one. Remember the square root of x cubed. That can, of course, be simplified to x root x because it is the square root of x squared. So there's the perfect square. And uh, we get x root x. But remember, the, the quick way of doing the algebra ones is to think of the index. And in that case, the index would be 3 on 2. But if we did it as a mixed numeral, it would be 1 and a half. So we have x to the power of 1 times x to the power of a half. So x root x. Fraction, square root of 5 on 4, well, we don't know the square root of 5, but we can work out the square root of 4, so root 5 on 2. 20 on 9, so similar sort of one. The top one can simplify to be 2 root 5. The bottom square root of 9 we know. It is, of course, 3. Third arithmetic. Looks very familiar. Like thirds can be added or subtracted. Unlike thirds cannot, and it is familiar, it's just that I've changed one word. Instead of using the word terms, I'm using the word thirds, and that's because they're exactly the same thing. In algebra, the term, the x, the pronumeral, represents an unknown. I mean, that's what algebra is all about. We don't know the value of something, but that doesn't stop us doing our maths. We'll just use a symbol to represent the thing we don't know what it is, and then we can continue doing our maths. Well, so it's exactly the same. If you think about it, the square root of 3 is just a symbol we're using because we don't know what the number actually is. So the algebra rules and the third rules are basically the same. So we just collect like, well, instead of like terms, I was going to say like terms, we collect like third. So 4 root 3 minus root 3, 3 root 3, 6 root 2 plus 2 root 2, 8 root 2, no different to algebra. Um, binomial expansions, exactly the same. First outside, inside, last. Uh, in this case, nothing simplifies and collects together, so I'll just leave it as the four terms. The classic thing, we see it all the time with thirds, the difference of two squares, although we call them something else in thirds. What are those two expressions? Conjugates. Conjugates. And the idea of conjugates comes in handy when we're rationalising the denominator. And we'll come to that in a sec. So they're conjugate thirds, difference of two squares. Be so careful with that one. Oh, it's so easy to make a mistake and go root 2 times root 2 is 4. 
because you're going two times two is four and you know, silly mistakes like that. It's a very easy mistake to make. Um, perfect squares. So the first one squared minus twice the product, the last one squared. So all those algebra things, we see them again. Right. So there's our first bit with our recap of SIRDs.